And he insisted that Halloween would take place on October 31st, regardless of the night, Tuesday, Sunday, Friday, for the whole town. My dad was the mayor of my small town. <laughs> so he had that take, right? He, he was able to do that. And he was the mayor of my town since I was about the age of two. I've known no other life. My dad was the mayor. All of it. And he didn't like horror movies. A foreign concept, I know, right? Like, this guy who likes Halloween didn't influence my horror intake. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost my spot. <laughs> uh, I got it from the late, great Wes Craven. He was the master of horror and the meta. He created an entire new genre. And at the age of eight, I think my brother showed me A Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> Freddy didn't phase me, though. And that's when I found my passion for horror movies. Wes Craven created my entire high school career. He influenced the freak in me. He made it okay to like blood and gore. <clears throat> On Sunday, he passed in the comforts of his home after a long battle with brain cancer. This rocked me to the very bone. I was very sad on Sunday and Monday morning, as Alex, Alex and Jackie can attest. <coughs> uh, because this man who made my high school career influenced the freak in me during the most influential age period, a young teenager, died of the same illness as my father. In October 2013, my dad passed one month after being di diagnosed with brain cancer. Uh, I watched this man, who didn't even have a chance to battle it, wither in front of my eyes. It was terrible. Uh, the man who taught me how to read, the guy who was six foot plus, who insisted on dressing up as Frankenstein's monster when I wanted to be Bride of Frankenstein when I was little. <laughs> I lost myself at the age of 23, two years ago, very short time ago. I finished graduate school on time. A uh, feat many were very surprised by. But I stopped blogging as much. I didn't analyze movies like I used to. I would veg out in front of Netflix and pity myself because my dad would never walk me down the aisle. Now, two years later, my media father passed. A guy I always dreamed of meeting to someday shake his hand and tell him how he shaped my life, shaped me. But with the sadness of his death, my life has reawoken, losing both my dads to the same illness two years apart. F that. I'm done feeling sad for myself. I have a talent, writing, storytelling, pop culture, using pop culture in my writing when I'm composing stories. I am not going to hide it anymore. I'm going to hit the keyboard hard this weekend, and I'm going to write something that both Wes and my father would be proud of. Because a father's influence, it will never fade.